Hello, this is Martin Yam from CA Technologies, and I'm here to talk about how to keep your applications secure with CA Advanced Authentication and Cryptographic Camouflage. What is Cryptographic Camouflage? Let me take a few moments to explain it. CA Technologies acquired ARCOT Systems in October of 2010. ARCOT was granted a patent in January of 2001 for this technology. The patent was discussed at the 1999 IEEE Symposium and the technique for doing cryptographic camouflage is open and published. If you'd like to read the paper which is entitled Software Smart Cards via Cryptographic Camouflage, you can find it on the CA website at the address on this slide. The patent allows CA to protect a variety of keying information within the credential that we call the CA Archive ID PKI or CA Archive ID OTP. I'll explain these credentials more in the next few slides. The CA Archive ID PKI, which is the digital certificate based solution, uses the familiar user and pa username and password paradigm. The CA Archive ID OTP works like a familiar single purpose hard token but generates standard OTH OTPs from a variety of devices like mobile phones, tablets, and PC class computers. With the CA Archive ID PKI, we protect the private key of the X509 certificate pair with, which resides with the user on the client side of this technology. With CA Archive ID OTP, we protect the OTP seed value on the client device with this solution ensuring that if it is used with an incorrect pin, it will not generate a valid OTP value. The benefits of the CA Archive ID credentials are, they're software based, they come in two form factors, username password equals the Archive ID PKI, OTH standard OTP equals the CA Archive ID OTP. You can tie credentials to devices, this means that they cannot be moved and used to generate valid credentials from devices other than the ones that they were originally provisioned to. Both credentials work on all types of devices, PCs, Macs, tablets, and phones. Here's a brief description of how the CA Archive ID PKI application flow works. In step one, the user tries to authenticate to a portal, VPN or other asset, and is redirected to a login screen that asks for username and password. In step two and three behind the scenes, the authentication server, AuthMinder, creates and sends a random string challenge to the client. In step four, the user enters their password. This password is not stored anywhere and is therefore able to eliminate the risk of attacks against directories or databases where passwords may be stored. In step five, the password is used to decamouflage the private key information and sign the PKI challenge sent from the server. In step, step six, the challenge is sent back to the server, which authenticates the validity of the signature. In step seven, the application is presented with the result of the authentication process. Please see our companion video on the problem with passwords for a deeper explanation of the benefits of using CA protected credentials. Here's how cryptographic camouflage works. Assume that the key is it's Friday and I'm in London. With a conventional key store approach, encrypted, this is the result of that key. To decrypt it with a wrong password, you get unreadable results. Decrypt it with the correct password and you get the readable result, it's Friday and I'm in London. The attacker can see from the fact that a well-formed English sentence that they have found the correct password. Using our patented approach, encrypted, it's Friday and I'm in London, would once again look like this. Decrypt it with the wrong passwords and you'll get readable English sentences. It's Wednesday and I'm in Paris. It's Monday and I'm in Berlin. Decrypt it with the correct password and you'll receive it's Friday and I'm in London. The attacker is unable to determine from the decrypted result whether it's the correct password or not. The private key is protected in software. If you take a closer look at your credit cards, you'll probably wonder what all those numbers stand for. Every digit actually stands for something specific. 
For example, the first digit identifies the brand that supports the usage of the card. The other numbers represent the bank that issued the card, the account number of card, and the check digit. The key point to realize is that there is a well-defined format to a credit card number that allows the appropriate organizations to use and validate that card. There's a well-defined format to a digital certificate as well. When a fraudster launches an attack against an encrypted digital certificate, they know that they have won when the format of the result that they get is as expected. RCUT ID and RCUT ID OTP are protected by the standard encryption method. The difference is in the result of the decryption attempt. Let's assume for a moment that the key is a credit card number. If an attacker copies or lifts the key from your PC, Mac, or phone, he can try all possible forms of decryption with a dictionary or some equivalent form of attack. There are cheap and free programs available to do this. The hacker keeps trying passwords until she gets one that looks like a credit card and not like garbage. So it, when he needs to send it, he has the key and it can impersonate the user. Cryptographic camouflage makes every decryption look like a credit card number, so there's no clue to the attacker when she has the right key. So she has to try the key by using it to log in. The authentication server will only accept the right key, so the ha hacker has only a few chances before he's locked out. The probability that he gets the right key on the first couple of tries is over a billion to one. In conclusion, let's review what cryptographic camouflage is. It's a patented technology that's open and available for anyone to review and test. It's not a proprietary method of concealment. It's a published method of concealment. The password to crypt the key is not stored anywhere. This eliminates the threat of fraudsters attacking password repositories. Thank you for your time today. And for more information, please visit www.ca.com forward slash security.